Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. This will be the uh, final of the three videos I am uh, producing today or uh, uploading to YouTube today, I should say, regarding the um, various, just trying to map out for those who are looking for resources, the mental health uh, ecosystem on Reddit. Uh, there are subreddits for anxiety, depression, and um, ADHD, amongst other um, mental health problems like uh, schizophrenia, bipolar, I think pretty much everything has a subreddit. Um, but the ones I've really mapped out for personal reasons are ADHD, depression, and anxiety. Um, so in this video, I wanna talk about ADHD, but I want to firstly give credit where credit is due. So I did post this list on list of subreddits about a year ago, and I did my best to map out all the ADHD subreddits that I knew about. Uh, this is a great subreddit to just try to bring some order to Reddit itself, list of subreddits, people post their own collections. Um, and then in the comments, people um, uh, put up subreddits that I'd missed in my collection, like this one, Australia ADHD and ADHD Premed. So um, I'm, I'm not solely claiming credit for this uh, collection because it's actually a few people in the end who've contributed to it. Uh, just to put that out there. So let me just give a quick overview of what there is on Reddit for ADHD people. So the biggest um, the biggest subreddit for ADHD, if, if the fulcrum of the community, if you will, is our ADHD, as you'd expect. It's a very big subreddit, 1.4 million people with ADHD. It's quite unusual to see subreddits uh, reach into the millions. And this is really, it's, you know, uh, the kind of central clearinghouse for info about ADHD out there. Well-organized subreddit, there's a wiki, there's rules, so just read those before posting. And uh, the flares are here. Uh, you can talk about these topics and more, um, and just sort of talk. And again, as I mentioned in my two videos this morning about anxiety, depression, none of these resources are really intended as substitutes for uh, seeing a doctor or a psychiatrist or therapist. They're just kind of useful um, add-ons to that. And it's really nice. The, the reason Reddit is so strong in this department of mental health support is that Reddit is, makes it very easy to post anonymously. So when people are talking about these topics online, for the most part, people don't want to use their real life identities, um, which is uh, very understandable. So um, that's why there's so many of these on Reddit. Um, so there's, that's ADHD. The next one I wanna show is ADHD anxiety. And this is for, and because there's a lot of subreddits like this that are kind of uh, for specifically for certain comorbidities because a lot of people with ADHD have depression and uh, anxiety. So uh, if you wanna kind of kill two birds with the one stone and talk about maybe uh, interventions that are useful both for anxiety and ADHD, Naturally, this is a lot smaller, 54,000 compared to over a million in the last one. Uh, but it is there as well uh, for social and social anxiety problems related to ADHD because um, ADHD can cause secondary anxiety um, and I think vice versa anxiety can get ADHD. I'm not sure. I forgot to include again, Ask, Ask Psychiatry. It's probably my favorite of the subreddits on mental health because it's an amazing resource uh, you can ask real psychiatrist questions about your medications about anything really um it's really really good but i didn't include it in each of these collections and by the way i'll if i can remember i'll put a link to this uh it's publicly available on my um reddit adhd subreddits i'll link to it you can also use a search function but this might be a useful jumping off point for some folks then we have more niche communities like ADHD College, and uh, this is, I guess, for people navigating third level or second, I'm actually not sure. Uh, yeah, university and postdoc seems to be its main focus. Uh, so uh, for, yeah, ADHD and higher education. Uh, so if that's an issue for you, uh, check that out. There is ADHD Life Pro Tips. It's again, it's ADHD or seem to have uh, ex exceeded even the depression, depression and anxiety people in proliferating subreddits. Um, also maybe because of the fact that ADHD meds particularly are controlled. So there's a lot of, a lot of need for geographically specific uh, subreddits like this one, for instance, ADHD Europe. Uh, it has a discord room and it's just about a thousand people in there at the moment. Uh, at the time I'm recording, they'll naturally grow over time. 
Here is another of the comorbidity ones, ADHD bipolar, for folks who've been diagnosed with ADHD and bipolar disorder. Um, and you'll see a lot of the same questions across different Reddits. Someone this here is asking about combining Stratera with a with uh, Adderall. Um, ADHD parents for I'm gonna just skip over some because there's honestly just too like too many to uh, explain each subreddit. But uh, this is I think this is for sub uh, parents of people with ADHD. So obviously having a child with ADHD brings parental issues, and this is that's my understanding of what it is. I might actually be totally wrong. I've just realized it could be for people who are parents and do have ADHD. I'm really not sure. Go into it to find out for yourself. Um, ADHD pre-med. So there's actually a, a couple of ones specifically for doctors, which is interesting. There is doctors with ADHD and ADHD pre-med. So for people navigating the world of becoming a doctor who also have ADHD, I can imagine that's quite challenging. Uh, given that um, so much focus is required in medical education. So there's a pre-med subreddit for folks with ADHD who are in pre-med and there's one for, uh, for healthcare workers with AD, AD attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Um, adult ADHD support group, I'm not sure what this one is. It is, have you or someone you know or love been diagnosed with adult ADHD? Um, so yeah, this might be actually the one I was talking about for parents, um, that would be good. Australia ADHD, and here's the one I'll wrap up with, ASDHD, people who have ASD, Autism Spectrum Disorder, and, I don't know why there's a funny accent over the A, and ADHD, so that is probably, I don't know, somewhat narrow group of people, but if you have those two conditions coexisting, I want to talk with others, uh, there is this subreddit. Hope that was useful uh, overview of the ADHD subreddits. As I mentioned, these I don't think anyone's intended, intending these as replacements for uh, professional mental health care, but I think they're complementary is the best way to look at them. Thank you guys for watching um, this video and wishing everybody healing and success, uh, whatever they are coping with.